If you're thinking of using WordPress to build your website, there are some things that you need to know before starting. Today, we're going to go over 10 things that you should know before starting with WordPress. Let's jump right into it. The first thing you should know is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. If you search WordPress on your browser, you will see that there is WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.com is a website host specifically for WordPress. This is similar to website hosting services like Hostinger, Bluehost, or Namecheck. Every website is hosted on a server and when someone goes onto your website, their computer connects to that server so that they can see your website. And that is where WordPress.com and other web hosting providers come in. A thing to note is that WordPress.com is made by the same team behind WordPress.org. They have the same rights to branding, which is the reason why it looks more official. But you can use other website hosting providers like the ones I mentioned earlier to host your WordPress website. WordPress.org is a free open source website builder. Open source just means that WordPress is available to everyone around the world, which also means that you can install it on any web host. So you do not need to use WordPress.com in order to use WordPress. I recommend that you use other website hosting services and install WordPress there. Installation is usually very easy, so don't let that scare you. One of the best web hosting provider is Hostinger. You can get started with Hostinger by following our link down below. To get started with Hostinger, click our link down below. Once you're on that link, you can scroll down to choose your web hosting plan. There are three web hosting plans, a premium that goes for $2.99 per month, business, which is the most popular, that goes for $3.99 per month, and lastly, the cloud startup, which is $8.99 per month. With any plan you choose, you will get three months free. However, we have also provided a discount code that you can use. In order to use that discount code, choose which plan you would like. And once you have selected a plan, scroll down and choose a period. You can then create your account or log in. And under where it says select payment, scroll down to where you see have a coupon code. And for that, you will enter in my first website, click on apply. And there you have it, a 74% discount off the plan. If you're also looking to build a website as a beginner, we have provided our website down below below that can help you. Now, the second thing that you should know is that there are some limitations to WordPress drag and drop editor. When WordPress was created, it was not originally drag and drop. However, more recently, WordPress has added a drag and drop editor called Gutenberg. Because the Gutenberg editor is not that easy, you can use a page builder plugin like Elementor or Divi. Installing and activating these page builder plugins for your website, you will get the same feel as if you were developing developing or creating a website with Wix or Squarespace. I would highly recommend using Elementor as I believe that it's the easiest page builder that you can use on WordPress. Considering this, why would you want to use WordPress? WordPress is highly customizable, meaning that you can switch between the classic editor, the Gutenberg editor, or use a page builder plugin like Elementor to ensure that you can customize your website however you like. Now, on a topic of plugins, the third thing that you need to know is that WordPress is built on plugins. What do I mean by that? Plugins add functionality to your website and you should definitely use plugins if you're building a WordPress website. You can think of plugins as apps for your smartphone, except it's for your website. There are so many plugins that you can use for your website, but make sure that you do not overdo it with the plugins as it can really slow down your website. Now, the fourth thing is that you should always make sure that your WordPress WordPress website is secured. When you create a WordPress website, it is not automatically protected from hackers. WordPress is a very popular platform, which makes it a very big target for hackers. To help with your website security, you want to make sure that you install a security plugin. In order to do this, you can go into plugins and search security. Now, once you enter in security, you can scroll down and choose any plugin that you would like to use for your website. Make sure you choose the one that is very reputable and has high ratings. The fifth thing is that you need to make sure that you update your website frequently. WordPress themes and plugins need to be updated for very important reasons. The reasons are to improve features, fix bugs, and to prevent from vulnerabilities. In order to update anything on your WordPress website, 
you will need to go into your WordPress dashboard and now you need to click on updates and on this page you can find everything that you need to update including the version of your WordPress any plugins that you have as well as any themes that you have the sixth thing that you need to know is that you need to always back up your website regular backups can help save you from data loss there are various plugins and hosting services that offers backup in order to back up your website on WordPress you can just go into plugins again click on add new plugin and once you're here and now just search up backup once you're here you can scroll down and choose any plugin that you would like to back up your website files a very popular one is updraft plus which is a WordPress backup and migration plugin meaning that once you back up your website you can also restore and migrate it the seventh thing is SEO in order for you to rank up on search engines you need to make sure that you use SEO strategies a good way to improve your SEO when using WordPress is to use a plugin again plugins like Yoast SEO or SEO press is very helpful to improve your websites SEO you can find SEO plugins on WordPress and compare one to another to decide which one you would like to use for your WordPress website the eighth thing that you should know is that customization can get technical while WordPress allows for extensive customization deep diving into plugins or themes it may require that you have some HTML CSS or PHP knowledge this is not always the case and there are ways that you can customize your website without having technical knowledge or knowing a programming language the reason why you might need to have some technical knowledge is because customizing on WordPress is limitless the ninth thing is that WordPress does not have an official support however because WordPress is open source there are many communities that you can find online to help you with any WordPress related questions and whenever you're in doubt you should always reach out to these communities that are very helpful and can help you with any questions that you have on WordPress now the 10th thing to know is that there are other alternatives when it comes to website building we have provided a link down below to two alternatives Wix and Squarespace Wix is great for building general websites whereas Squarespace is better for portfolios both have really good templates and are very easy for beginners if you're interested you can check them out down below by clicking our link and that will really help support this channel so that we can make more free content like this if you found this video helpful please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you have any questions please leave a comment and we will make sure to cover it thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video Thank you.